here in the second half. And for a guy that had major surgery a little more than a year ago, as Dontrell Shuler knocks down the issues as well. Nine turnovers for Western Kentucky, a team who so far this season has done a really nice job of taking care of the basketball. But that's what Middle Tennessee does. They speed you up in the half court and force you to make uncharacteristic plays you don't normally practice. And there's Dontrell Schuler hitting his first jump shot. Boy, it's great. into a basket on the other end. That transition, turnover, basket from one end to the other uh, really hurts them up there, and it's hurt them all year. Ertl struggling with his shot, but Andy Kennedy said, shooters are going to shoot. I'm leaving him in. I'm leaving him in there. Three-pointer, Schuler. The middle retains possession with 25 on the shot clock. Schuler is going to pull it and roll it home. So important to of their you. last eight, approaching four minutes now since their last field goal. You see Schuler now on Sloan, right up in his grill. Sloan loses it. Schuler on the deck. And it looks run like and try to get some easies. Coach McDevitt calls them. We got to get some easies, and they just haven't been able to do that. Only four fast break points for Middle Tennessee. With about a second and a half, the three-point shot is good. Much, But he's going to play a major factor, if not this season, in the years to come at Ole Miss. Their top-rated recruit of all time, top 40 in the nation. Oh, I think you'll see. Brampton again for three. Didn't even hesitate. Two are pushing, one, two step. Count that basket. Yep, great take by Schuler. A rare post entry feed for Charlotte. Not a team that throws it inside very often. Good curl by Schuler. Good finish. Fantastic. Is an ETSU answers the bell. Schuler finds himself. had a strong game. Obviously, a huge part of what Middle wants to do offensively and defensively. So it's great to see him back on the floor. Yeah, mentioned he's the leading scorer, but as he did today, coming off the bench for Middle Tennessee is that three from Schuler is pure. Welcome back, Dontrell Schuler. Yeah, they do what they do. They ran their offense. Shoot pizza, face cut to the basket. Got his defender Dishman high side for the post feed, and again, a rare post feed opportunity. And one. Two pizza jumped out to head. Charlotte does a great job at redirecting the ball screens. Even better job by middle there attacking the rim. There's an attack. That's Some of the things that he does, he's just a weapon, pure and simple. Rawls off the bench is an offensive weapon for Western Kentucky. Eight points, 407 from the floor. Has had the ball in his hands a lot in this game. Schuler creating a drive. Really tough angle to make. That, that by now penalizing players if they catch it. See the quicker rotation so far today from the Buccaneers. We've seen Sloan, we've seen Nyblack, and now we see Harris at the point guard spot. That's Schuler driving into the lane. Works he bounced the last season. Potentially on trend for that, even with the lesser games going on as floater there. Schuler gets it, tries to find a path, and draws a foul. That's what he does. Some three. Not, Big fella. Not all, but some of the threes. They can be in this game. The energy and effort never changes. It stays at a high level for Middle Tennessee. Defense is not the issue. This is a very good defensive team. It's finding rhythm on offense that's a struggle. And a good defensive stop.
and they're up almost 20, and they're flying around like they're down 20. Lawrence popped that like he thought the shot clock was winding down. They still had 12 seconds left. They do get another look at it. Nice hustle play from Jared Coleman Jones. Schuler, Euro step. Yes. Oh. So one. I know, and that's why he's an analyst, and Coach Kennedy's on the sideline. You play to win the game, Chris. UAB picked fourth in Conference USA going into the season, behind favorite Western Kentucky, defending champion North Texas, and a Marshall team with a ton of talent. But right now, the best record in Conference USA. How difficult is that going to be? Playing the same team on back-to-back -back nights. Totally changes the dynamic. And I, I'll tell you, you know, from a coach's perspective, it, it's going to be a nightmare because you've got about five hours, you know, after the game and maybe the next day to do your research and figure out exactly what adjustments you want to make, all while the other coach is doing the exact same thing. They were last season and they may not be as good as they were last season, but all of a sudden you blink 18th in the country That team didn't just rebuild. That's a reload yeah, They could have been in line for a one by Charlotte Brian, uh, Brian Williams getting the bucket in there as Davis tries to get inside the paint but back out and Finds its way in now Bassey gonna bring it up all 611 of it Everybody wants to be a guard. Reminds me of Shaq in the All-Star game. <laughs> Dribbling between his legs. Yeah. Staring down Allen Iverson. Great hands by Shula right there. Very, very active defensively. But could definitely make some noise in March. That's Tut with the baseline two, a little short. Back the other way comes Middle Tennessee. So that's DeAndre Davis with the basketball. He drew the foul just going into the timeout. You take the OVC, for example. So fractured in his left leg against Arkansas. That game was back on December 7th. And you saw him there pop for a shot there, go to a shot fake and drive. When I scouted Western, was surprised that he's got a perimeter game also. I mean, he's a really nice player. Schuler on the drive, got the floater to drop. Johnson, kick out. That's Schuler in the corner, no good. And Akinwole comes away with a long rebound. Looking for Tut. Nice little tip from Jemison, right over the top, not over the back. He was straight up. He's a legit seven footer, but he can move. I mean, no, he just doesn't have good hands. He's not a big body. He can move. He's also a top 20 shot blocker in the country as well. He's got great timing. And here they don't get into the offensive set until about 17, 18 seconds on the shot clock. That's what the three quarter court press is designed to do. Make you overthink and take you out of rhythm. Schuler. Strong in the second. How many times have we seen him do that throughout the course of the season? Just make tough shot after tough shot around the rim. He's a tank. Schuler, a wide open three. Good skill.